Matter exists on Earth in one of three main states, and substances can transition between these states as heat energy is absorbed or released by the substance. When a solid is heated, the particles vibrate more and more quickly. Eventually, they'll have enough energy to break free of their fixed positions and form a liquid, a process we call melting. And as a liquid is heated, the particles slide around more and more quickly. Eventually, they'll have enough energy to completely break free of other particles and form a gas. We call this process vaporization. Vaporization can occur rapidly when all the particles in the liquid have enough energy to become gaseous. We call this boiling, and it occurs when the liquid's temperature reaches its boiling point. Like this water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, boiling is a rapid process that occurs throughout the liquid, as seen by the bubbles that form. But vaporization can also occur at temperatures lower than the boiling point. We call this evaporation. This is when particles at the surface absorb enough heat energy from the surroundings to break free of the attractive forces. Unlike boiling, evaporation is a slow process that occurs only at the surface. The processes of melting or vaporization are reversed when a substance releases sufficient heat energy. As a gas cools, the particles move about more and more slowly. Eventually, they'll slow down enough to get attracted to other particles and form a liquid, a process we call condensation. And as a liquid cools, the particles slide around more and more slowly. Eventually, they'll slow down enough so the attractive forces can pull them into fixed positions as a solid, a process we call freezing. Under certain conditions, substances can transition directly between the solid and gas state without passing through the liquid state. When a solid absorbs heat energy and transitions directly to a gas, we call it sublimation. The reverse process occurs when a gas cools and transitions directly to a solid. We call this deposition. So, in this video, we've looked at the state changes that occur when substances absorb heat energy, like the melting of solids into liquids, or the vaporization of a liquid to a gas during boiling or evaporation, and also the sublimation of a solid to a gas. And we've looked at the reverse processes, the state changes that occur when heat energy is released, like the condensation of a gas to a liquid, or the freezing of a liquid to a solid, and also the deposition of a gas to a solid.